Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So this week I am actually going to Korea for uh, an exchange term in Seoul this fall. Uh, this is actually the third year in a row that I will be going to Korea and my fourth time overall. So I thought I would show you uh, what I pack in my carry-on for the smoothest and most convenient plane ride. <laughs> so let's get started. So starting off with electronics, um, I always try to keep my camera, my computer, my iPad and all the chargers to those devices in my carry-on. So I can keep them close and I can uh, keep tabs on where they are at all times. <laughs> And for like the small uh, electronic devices such as like adapters to the computer or like headphones or like small electronics, I keep them in a small pouch uh, so I can have all things in one place. Moving on to stuff in general, just like stuff you bring. Uh, so one of my most important items that I always bring with me in my carry-on is a water bottle. I know you are not allowed to bring in like a filled up water bottle through security. That's why I always try to keep an empty water bottle. And then when I get past the security, I fill it up in like the bathroom. Because <laughs> you know in Sweden, you can drink the tap water and it's, it's really convenient to just fill it up and then you don't have to pay for these like expensive ass water bottles that they sell in store. I always bring my own snacks on board the plane because even though they provide food uh, on the flight, uh, you guys know that the snacks on board are expensive ass. Hmm. <laughs> so I try to bring my favorite snacks. It can be like candy or or ships or anything like that but I never ever ever pack nuts okay cuz just in case someone has a severe allergy I feel like it's the most safe choice just not packing nuts so just keep that in mind another thing that's important when traveling especially to Korea but I'm guessing a lot lots of other countries as well um, is to have a pen in your carry-on. I made this mistake uh, the first times going to Korea, uh, but when before you land, you have to fill out a form for, I think it's immigrations, where you just fill out your name and where you're staying and stuff like that. Uh, and it just makes the whole process a lot easier if you have your own pen with you. I really don't pack that much wearables because I keep all my clothes and stuff like that in my checked-in baggage but I do always keep a long-sleeved shirt in my carry-on because you know that planes are going to get cold um, especially if you're sitting there in like 12 hours or something since it's summer and the weather in Korea is going to be a lot warmer than here in Sweden, I have also packed a pair of shorts in my carry-on so I can change to shorts when I arrive. Another thing that's so important for long flights is a neck pillow and a sleeping mask. I made a mistake last time of bringing those, one of those like inflatable sheep neck pillows and let me tell you, never again. Uh, never compromise your sleep guys, you deserve the best, even if you're on a plane. <laughs> this might sound quite weird, but I always have a pair of compression stockings with me. And I know it sounds like it's only for old people, just old people wearing that so they don't get like a blood clot. But honestly, when you're in a plane for like 10 to 16 hours straight, um, your blood is not circulating that well so it feels quite good to have a pair of compression stockings just to get your blood circulating another thing I always pack is a cap because I don't know if it's just me or if it's you guys as well but I always get so greasy in my hair when I'm flying. I don't know if it's like the dry air or if I'm stressed or what it is, but I always get so greasy. 
So caps are amazing for just covering up the fact that you are disgusting by when you get off the plane. <laughs> a pro tip is to bring skincare samples on board with you on the plane. Um, I feel like the most important ones are toner, moisturizer, and the sleeping pack. Because you know, a lot of people tend to want to go for the sheet mask option on the airplane. But honestly, for me, I feel like it looks ridiculous to have like this mask putting on in the crowd and you just look so weird. So for me to get like the same result but still don't have to look as ridiculous, I feel like a sleeping pack is the most uh, convenient way <laughs> to moisturize your face in the plane. I also pack a little bit of hand cream and my toothbrush and toothpaste. And a pro tip for packing like those tiny amounts of toothpaste and hand cream is to pack it in those small contact lens cases. This way you don't have to bring like a lot of product, just like a little little amount that's going to go a long way on the plane. If you guys have another pro favorite tip for traveling, please just let me know in the comments because I'm always on the lookout for tips and tricks that makes traveling less of a hustle. <laughs> I'll make sure to update you guys on life in Korea and everything I'm doing there because I am honestly so excited to get to spend the whole fall in my favorite country. <laughs> so until then, take care and I see you next time. Bye!